friends. Welcome back to my channel. I figured I'd do a plan with me this week in my social media planner. So I'll be using the Sweet Kawaii Design um, by Craftsmith Co. sticker book. You can find this at Michael's and I do believe also on the Sweet Kawaii Design website, although I think they were sold out last time I saw, but they very well may have been restocked. This will be in my new print pression A6 size planner. So this is the Tiff blue cover. It just arrived. I love it. And this little tiny A6 planner. It's so mini, but it's so cute. And for something like social media, which I really don't need a ton of space. Honestly, it's a planner I don't necessarily really need to do, but I enjoy it. I think it's fun and why not do something that I'm enjoying, right? So this A6 size works for that. I had a lot of fun putting a couple sweet kawaii design goodies here. I put some glitter cardstock. This is this pink glitter cardstock from Michaels. It was one of those, you know, buy one, get two free deals. And then some fun die cuts over here on the side too. Something to make me smile when I open it up. So this is the rose gold coil. And so you can see it's, they're pretty small. Um, but these are one and a half size columns, so they will work with lots of standard size stickers. And it's just simply a week on two pages, or four pages, I guess, one, two, three, four. So what's nice about that is I like to use this first column as kind of a little to-do list of things that I want to remember to do or check out, or if there's a sale or something like that. And then I can have one day per week. So like I said, I've got my Sweet Kawaii Design by Craftsmith Co. sticker book. So these are not the regular vinyl stickers like you buy from Sweet Kawaii Design. Obviously my favorite favorite sticker shop. Um, I'm on the PR team for the summer term. And so the new freebies just dropped today. They're super cute popsicles. Um, I will put a picture of that at the end of this video so you can check it out. All right, I do like to put one of these full boxes, actually not one of the decorated box that I can't write anything in because these are so small, I don't have very much space. So I like to use these kind of emptier full boxes, one each day because I can maybe plan, you know, I have a lot of planners. Again, it makes me happy, I like it. And then I can remember, oh yeah, I wanna post them my after the pen or my before the pen because I love sharing all my planner stuff. I love seeing everybody else's planner stuff. Um, I just love the planner community. I think it's really fun. And I get so much inspiration from seeing other people's things. So I hope, um, people find joy in seeing my pictures like I find joy in seeing their pictures. So just kind of looking through here, this is kind of a more open spread for me. It's not, you know, it's not kit based. One of the things I really love about the Sweet Kawaii Design stickers are their kits. It makes it really easy for me to figure out what I'm going to put in each spread. This one's a little more open. Like I said, I do like to put one of these checklists in that first column just so I can make myself a little to-do list. So I think I'm going to use this one, this kind of rainbow ombre one. All right, so I've got my little to-do list there. I do need to find something I can use for my date covers because you can see I've already used this sticker book. There's so many stickers in it though that you can find lots and lots of things, but I already used the date covers in here. And I know I have these matching date covers, I think leftovers from a kit that I've used from Sweet Kawaii Design, but I think I wanna try to stick with this and just see because there's so many different options. I mean, you can use something like this. I think I'll use that for my date covers. So I can just pull different ones. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, and then maybe I'll do the gold color on the weekend. part about these sticker books are or is the fun washi that you can find it is different than just washi tape obviously and you do need to trim it down to make it fit but they're really fun patterns they're really fun different patterns that I'm enjoying seeing I kind of like this candle one I'm wondering I don't know if I'll have enough to go across the bottom of all four pages. So I'm wondering if instead I should use just some washi 
that I have. Mm. It's so fun. But I think maybe I have this Simply Gilded washi in it. The colors are pretty nice with, with these. So I think maybe I will use... Mm. This ombre one actually goes really, really well. You can kind of see. If I could find the end. There it is. You can see that that actually goes really well with that. So I think that that is what I will do. looks really fun you know obviously this washi tape has a few more colors than the ombre in here but I think it looks nice it brings the same gold and it's just pretty I enjoy this this washi all right I do want to put my full boxes these ones where I can write in them I like to write, you know, the before and after the pens that I want to show. Like I said, I have so many planners that really, I don't need this one, but I find it really fun to kind of keep track of, of what I've shared and then also maybe things that I've seen that I really like. And like I said, sales that are coming up. Um, this week, there's lots of fun things to post about. You know, like I said, the new freebies came out for Sweet Kawaii Design. Those are always really fun to post and see. Um, the other ladies on the, the team with me are fantastic and they are they have so many fun um, planner spreads to share and ideas. So um, definitely check them out as well. You can, if you go to my Instagram, you can see their accounts as well. I've posted and tagged them there. All right, I will keep going here. Hmm, I do not have one that is that kind of light aqua. I do have a gray. I'm kind of deciding, do I want to use that gray? Or do I want to try to find something else? Let's see if I can find something else that will work. Like I said, this is different using this type of sticker book rather than a kit based thing, but it also allows for some fun creativity and different size stickers than um, I'm used to. So that's kind of fun. Oh, look, here we go. All right, here's one. Sometimes I just have to flip on through and then I find them. Okay, and then how cute are these? George and his little bubble bath and the remote. Maybe I'll use one of these. I guess I could use the little watering can actually so that I use all the same colors and rather than bring one ombre one in there. Although well, those were really, really cute. Maybe I'll save those for another spread another day. Um, like I mentioned, these kits, these books, sorry, are fantastic for multiple spreads. Um, I've used this already a couple of times and um, have so much more that I can get out of it. So many different spreads, so many different options. Um, they last a really long time. Okay, so I have my full boxes here where I can write in um, different things in those. I also like to use a little checklist underneath so that I can just, you know, make little notes of whatever I'm doing. Um, I can use either all gold or I can color block it. I think I'm going to color block and just use the colors since I have lots of each kind. I think that is what I will do. All right, those are on. And then I do like to put on Tuesday and Friday a little box down here because Tuesday is $2 Tuesday and Friday is Freebie Friday. And those are always things that are really fun to pay attention to. Sweet Kawaii Design always has the super cute um, Freebie Fridays, really fun 
um, things to get. And on $2 Tuesdays, they're always really fun uh, $2 sheets where you can build onto kits that maybe you already have, or I like to get those $2 Tuesday sheets sometimes for this planner, um, often for my daily work planner and my to-do planner, because I don't need a full kit all the time for those. So I do like to grab those $2 Tuesday ones for that. I'm just trying to decide here what, if I want a full half box or if I want to try something that's going to fit a little better and not cut off my little checklist. Oh, look, I found more checklists too. I could have used those. How fun. Lots of different options for checklists, which for functional planners is great. So I think, and then these are on clear paper. These, you know, celebrate, appointment, all these little icons. This is all on clear paper, which is fun. Hmm. It's a tough choice when you have so many choices. Oh, how cute are those? See, I love those too. There's <laughs> too many good options apparently for me. Maybe I'll use those because I love them so much. Oh, I love that with little, little Simon down there in the corner. Oh man, decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll just use those. I'll just finally choose. And these are actually bigger than that half box, which is funny because that's not what I was going to do. But that's okay. I'll just cover a little bit of it up. So this would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm not opposed to layering stickers. All right, so now that I have those, oh, I wanted to put something up here so that I could label my little to-do list up there. Let's find something with gold in it since we have those gold, that gold foiling. I think that that would be fun. Sorry for all the flipping through, but I don't want to tear these off because then I feel like I won't ever kind of get them back in order and that will bug me. Maybe I'll use a flag. I could go sideways with the flag because this one doesn't have a picture on it, so I could just turn it sideways. And that would be cute because it would kind of go along with that. I like it. Well, now I've got everything I kind of need in here, right? To remind myself of things and to do stuff. So now I get to just pick a little bit of decoration that's super fun. There are these fun things, but I kind of feel like if I put those on, then I'm going to use up space that um, I would need for writing. So I'm going to look at these. These are on the clear paper. And I think a couple of these would be really fun just to throw on there. You know, this is a anti-stress kit, which is great. It'll be super fun. You know, next week is Teacher Appreciation Week um, being celebrated at my school. So that should be really fun. I know our amazing PTA has some fun things planned. I know a coffee cart um, will be around on Monday where we get to order a coffee from a coffee cart. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And I think on Thursday we have a lunch in the courtyard where they're going to have, I think, just kind of boxed lunches that you can grab, which would be a super treat to not have to think about bringing lunch to school that day. And then I think on Friday they have um, some fun treats for us too. Some local, a local cookie um, shop, Blue Truck Bakery, I think is going to be doing some treats and they're really good. Um, so we're being spoiled for sure this week and it is very much appreciated. So this kit kind of goes along with that, right? All right, I've got some fun decoration in here. Let's find a little bit more. Now we just have to label our days. So here, this is a Energel Cleaner 0.3 or 0 0.03 or however those are shown. Um, so this is my to-do list. <laughs> I 
think it's finished. I think I would like to use a clip. So if I put it back into my fun cover here, and then I can choose. I got these from the Happy Plum during one of the recent planner sales. And I think they're really fun. I run a tight shipwreck, totally how I feel. Be kind, maybe swearing will help. And trying my patience, you are. <laughs> I think I will use Be Kind this week and clip it here so that I can easily find my spot in this planner. And there we go. Happy planning, friends. I'll throw my freebie up here at the end of the video and you can check it out.